I am not a butter wrapping machine. I would like to be as perfect as the machine that wraps butter in paper. Have you ever looked at the way butter is wrapped? I have. Have you ever unwrapped a stick of butter? I've done that too. The other night, I steamed two ears of corn. When they were done, I reached into that section of the fridge, the little flip cabinet for special things like butter. I had a lot of things to tend to, what with the corn in the pot, and I was a bit worried about the task of removing the paper from the butter, but it was really easy. The perfect removal. It struck me then, as I placed the paperless butter on a tiny plate. That was easy, I said out loud. My troops are ready, my boyfriend said, looking up at me from the couch and his iPhone 6. It twinkled mystically and flickered a bluish light on his face. He grinned. I looked at the counter and reflected upon the folds of the empty butter wrapper. Perfectly aligned. Origami-like care. For my stick of butter. For everyone's stick of butter. It was then that I realized... I wanted to be like that. What is this machine? I thought to myself. And what would I do if it were my job to wrap butter? I could never form creases like that. I always have to use a bag and tissue paper to properly conceal gifts from those I give them to because my ends are always too thickly layered with tape and my paper crumples everywhere and anyway, the heat from my hands would surely make a rounded mess of the churned and separated cream. No fine creases. No even folds. If it were my duty to package all of the butter, I'd probably use jars. It would be sanitary, but it would make it harder for everyone. A butter knife would be vital, I thought. My butter could be considered artisanal, and it could be sold at gourmet shops and farmers markets. It would be charming. Do you know what's perfect? Butter wrapping machines.